Remain folded in place after removing your forceps. Next, insert the cartridge bevel tip so that it slides into the handpiece cartridge slots. Push down firmly on the back end of the cartridge to securely snap into the handpiece. If the rod tip makes contact with the cartridge, the cartridge has not been inserted correctly. Retract the rod and ensure that the cartridge is fully snapped into the handpiece before moving forward. Okay, so this is uh, the important things that you have. The precaution is that you have to check the alignment of the plunger, which is very important that the plunger should be hitting the lens. It should not be underriding the cartridge, nor should it be overriding. And that could cause a problem. So you first have to check the movement before you go into the eye, which is very important. It is bad to actually enter the eye and then see that the movement is not correct. Now, what important thing that you have, there are some people who do it under uh, infusion, but I personally prefer to put the lens under an inflated bag and you need to have a good viscoelastic that is there. The push on the injector system should be gentle. Now, there is a push type and there is a screw type. My personal preference is a screw type because it opens or unfolds the lens very gently and sometimes when you are doing with a push, there may be a sudden jerk and we have uh, injured the capsules and caused rents just by this sudden jerk of the, uh, of the uh, injector system onto the lens. Now, as was uh, told earlier for the marking of capsulorexes, if you are working with a toric lens, you have to do the marking and that is something which is very important. Multifocal lens insertion are also similar. Now, there are newer systems which you have to do, which, uh, which you have. Now, you can see this is the Callisto system that we use. This is a femto laser that has been done. And with this, uh, with the pre-op, uh, despite the patient being lying down, this is for a toric lens that you have, uh, the incision. Once the incision, you can see that this is the mark also, but this is the uh, three lines that come for the orientation of the intraocular lens. So the Callisto system will give you the orientation of the lens as to where exactly the lens has to be. So you can see that this is the lens that is being injected very gently. Once it is injected, you can see that this has to be rotated. So you can see this is the line here and you need to now rotate. So you can see that this is the rotation that you have and this is falling in the middle of these three lines. So this is the uh, systems that you have nowadays to get better orientation with a projection system which can be markerless that you have. Now let us look at insertions of IULs. If you look at the insertion of the IUL, which is the movie which is running just now, you can see that this is the right way because you have to gently turn your hand when the IUL is opening. So it is like a cauliflower that it is opening. But if you look at the other side, uh, which is being seen in this particular case, you will see that the opening is not the person, the doctor is not opening it properly. And you can see that this is a, a stuck, you can see that this is stuck. And because it is stuck, you can see that the lens is turning